Hello dear students, I am Pavanjay Sudevad, Assistant Professor from Department of English, KTHM College, Nasik, under the Savitri Bai Phule Pune University, Pune. Dear friends, I hope you all are well and taking utmost care of yourself and your near and dear ones during this COVID-19 worldwide pandemic. Dear friends, in our TYBA compulsory English subject, there is one important grammar topic that is transformation of sentences. So let us begin with what is transformation and how it is done. Let us see first the definition of transformation of sentence. Transformation of sentence is change in structure, function and meaning of a sentence or transformation changes one form of sentence into other form. Friends, this definition highlights some features of transformation of sentence. These features are structural features, functional features and meaningful features. Any transformation between two sentences brings some kind of change and that change is structural, functional and meaningful. The transformation also changes the form of sentence. The form of sentence, for example, active voice is changed into passive voice. When active voice becomes passive voice, it changes is its form. So, this is what the general definition of transformation of sentence. Let us switch on uh, the next sub topic that is transformation is usually done for what purposes? For what purposes generally we do transformation of sentences? The first purpose is to bring change in meaning, function and structure of a sentence as we have uh, discussed now in definition of transformation. Secondly, to make change in a form of sentence. Transformation is done to make change in a form of a sentence. Thirdly, transformation is done to bring variety to our speech and writing. If we use same sentence again and again, every time in our writing and speech, and definitely it brings monotonousness in our speech and writing. So, we need to do transformation of one sentence into another sentence to bring a variety. Fourthly, transformation is done uh, to focus on or uh, to give importance to different parts of sentences. A speaker while speaking gives importance to a particular part of a sentence. The speaker focuses on a particular part of a sentence. At that time, a speaker needs to transform one sentence into another sentence. Fifthly, uh, the purpose of uh, transformation is uh, to suit different context and levels. According to different context and different levels, we need to use different different sentences and for that purpose we need to transform the sentences. The sentence which we use in formal context we generally do not use it in informal context. So sentences which we use in formal context generally are different from the sentences which we use in informal context. So when, when we switch on, switch over from formal context to informal context at the time we need to transform sentences. I hope you are getting this uh, the very purpose of transformation of sentence. Let us go ahead and discuss two groups of sentences. The next topic is next sub topic of our discussion is two groups of sentences. Friends, generally there are two groups of sentences in English. These are first clause based sentences and function based sentences. Let us see now 
what are clause based sentences these sentences on the basis of the clauses they are formed clause based sentences are formed on the basis of clauses these sentences can be divided into four kinds simple compound complex and compound complex sentence the second group of sentences that is use or function based sentences function based sentences are formed on the basis of the use of function these sentences can be divided into four kinds declarative sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence the actual topic of our discussion is this type of sentences so uh, let us discuss in more detail uh, these four types of sentences uh, declarative interrogative imperative and exclamatory let us see now what is declarative sentence declarative sentence is also called assertive sentence assertive sentence or declarative sentences declaratives are used to make statements in order to give information report events express an opinion or to make a promise they have the word order as subject plus verb plus object declarative sentences generally observe the word order as subject plus verb plus object and they are employed to give information to report any event or to express opinion or to make promise here are given some examples for discussion let us see first example of declarative sentence that is covid-19 is a worldwide pandemic covid-19 is a worldwide pandemic this is a declarative sentence or assertive sentence because it declares covid as covid-19 as a worldwide pandemic or it asserts covid-19 as a worldwide pandemic it shows the fact that covid-19 is a worldwide pandemic that is why this statement this sentence is a declarative sentence or assertive sentence let us see next example of declarative sentence oxford university has made vaccine on coronavirus oxford university has made vaccine on coronavirus dear friends this is also an example of declarative sentence because this statement asserts that declares that oxford university has made vaccine on coronavirus so this is an information giving giving st st statement this is a fact giving statement that is why we can call this as declarative sentence let us see third example of declarative sentence that is i will call you tomorrow i will call you tomorrow this is a kind of promise this is a kind of promise and promise is stated in form of declarative sentence so these are uh, three examples of declarative sentence i hope you are getting me you are getting what declarative sentences are let us move ahead and discuss uh, the second type of second kind of uh, sentences that is interrogative sentences or interrogative sentence interrogative sentences end with a question mark interrogative sentences end with question mark they observe question mark at the end and they are generally used to ask 
questions or make inquiries interrogative statements are generally used to ask questions used to make inquiries they are of two types interrogative sentences are of two types s no questions and wh questions interrogative sentences are of two types s no questions and wh questions now what are s no questions and what are wh questions s no questions are those questions which which answer is expected in either yes or no a wh questions are which questions begin with wh questions like what when why how let us see few examples below given what is covid 19 what is covid 19 friends this example is this sentence is interrogative sentence this sentence is interrogative sentence because it begins with wh question what and ends with interrogative mark that is why this is interrogative sentence this question ask a question this question ask a question and what is that question what is covid 19 that is why this is an example of interrogative sentence let us see second example how many people have been infected so far how many people have been infected so far this is also interrogative sentence begins with wh question how and ends with interrogative mark so this is wh question it is also making an enquiry it is also asking a question that how many people have been infected so far let us see third example that is are you coming to nasik are you coming to nasik the sentence begins with are and ends with wh uh, ends with interrogative mark this is s no type of question because it begins with the helping verb are the sentences which begin with helping verbs like are is where can and ends with the interrogative mark are generally called as s no type of question so this is definitely interrogative sentence but this is again s no type of question so these are the three examples of interrogative sentences let us move on third example of a uh, third type of a sentence that is imperative sentence third type of sentence is imperative sentence imperative sentences are used to give orders or instructions imperative sentences are used to give orders or instructions or to make request and to give advice this is what the function of imperative sentences they are used to give order or command or instructions or to make request or to give advice let us see a few examples of imperative sentences a uh, bolt bolt the door what is the example bolt the door this is an order bolt the door this is an order so it is imperative sentence please help me please help me this is obviously a request this is imperative sentence making request to help so please help me this is imperative sentence because this is a kind of a request let us stay at home the next example let us stay at home this is a kind of advice during corona pandemic if we stay at home we are more safe so that is why we can say let us stay at home this is a kind of advice suggestion so 
the function of imperative sentences is to make request is to make order is to make instruction or is to give advice so these three are examples of imperative sentence let us discuss now the last and fourth example of types of sentences that is exclamatory sentences what is exclamatory sentences exclamatory sentences are used to express surprise joy pain sorrow pity and admiration and other feelings also exclamatory sentences usually express a spontaneous joy a pain a sorrow a pity admiration a different sort of feelings they end with an exclamation mark this is the feature of exclamatory sentence that exclamatory sentences end with exclamatory mark for example what a wonderful sight for example what a wonderful sight the sentence is beginning with what and ending with exclamatory mark and it shows the intensity of the wonderfulness of the sight that is why it is exclamatory sentence it expresses the surprise of the speaker it expresses the surprise of the speaker that is why this is exclamatory sentence the second sentence how sad it is to listen sushant suicide recently sushant singh has suicided and the statement here we have is how sad it is to listen sushant suicide this is also an exclamatory sentence how sad it is it shows the intensity of sorrow it shows the intensity of pain that sushant singh has committed suicide and this news is very sad so how sad it is to listen sushant suicide at the end the statement observes the sentence observes exclamatory mark it begins with how that is why it is exclamatory sentence let us see third example look what's it look what's it the statement begins with verb look and ends with exclamatory mark look what's it it shows the surprise this statement shows the surprise the function of this very exclamatory sentence that is look what's it it functions as a surprise again ouch that hurts ouch that hurts this example ouch that hurts ouch is definitely an utterance and it shows a pain it shows a kind of sorrow and the abrupt feeling of pain that hurts so that is why it is exclamatory sentence it begins with an utterance ouch and ends with exclamatory mark so it is exclamatory sentence dear friends so far we have discussed four type types of sentences declarative sentence that asserts states the information expresses opinion second interrogative sentence that ask or makes a question third imperative sentence that gives order or instructions or makes request fourth exclamatory sentence expresses surprise joy and feeling after discussing types of sentences in detail let us do some transformation of sentences now practically let us do transformation of declarative sentences into interrogative sentences from declarative to interrogative let us see first s no type of questions transformation of s no type of questions here is example uh, drina learns to dance and sing drina learns to dance and sing this is an declarative sentence this is sorry this is a declarative sentence or an assertive sentence drina learns to dance and sing we have to transform it into interrogative sentence so we get the sentence like does drina 
learn to dance and sing does drina learn to dance and sing this this begins with does and ends with interrogative mark so definitely this is a interrogative sentence it is making inquiry it is asking question does drina learn to dance and sing so drina learns to dance and sing this is declarative sentence and does drina learn to dance and sing it is interrogative sentence let us see second example you are staying in nasik a declarative sentence assertive sentence if we transform it into interrogative we get sentence like this are you staying in nasik see the function of a sentence changes here you are staying in nasik this is an informative sentence information giving sentence or this is fact giving sentence you are staying in nasik this declarative sentence we are transforming into interrogative and it is making an enquiry it is making a question are you staying in nasik are you staying in nasik sentence is beginning with r helping verb and ending with question mark are you staying in nasik definitely this is interrogative sentence we can begin interrogative uh, sentence with helping verb like r or wh question like what and how now let us see uh, transformation based on wh questions i am waiting for joy this is declarative sentence i am waiting for joy if we transform it into interrogative sentence we get sentence like whom are you waiting for whom are you waiting for the sentence is beginning with whom and ending with question mark whom are you waiting for the function of the statement changes i am waiting for joy this is a information giving sentence fact giving sentence whereas whom are you waiting for this is enquiry making sentence the function is the function changes over here between two sentences let us see next example john sent me this mail in june john sent me this mail in june this is declarative sentence assertive sentence let us transform it into interrogative sentence and we get sentence like when did john send this mail when did john send this mail when did john send this mail sentence is beginning with when ending with question mark definitely it is changing its function also john sent me this mail in june it it has assertive declarative function stating the fact that john has sent me mail in june month this is fact based statement information giving statement but this statement when we transform into interrogative sentence it changes its functions and makes an inquiry makes a question and that question is when did john send this mail when did john send this mail i hope friends whatever we have discussed so far you are understanding it betterly let us switch on now uh, the practical part of these sentences that is transformation we have to do here the actual transformation of one form of sentence into another form rewrite the following sentences as directed in brackets rewrite this is we are discussing for the purpose of our practice rewrite the following sentences as directed in brackets the first sentence first example is uh, is the tea hot is the tea hot the statement the sentence is beginning with helping verb is and ending with question mark and beside the instruction is given change into a declarative sentence the given sentence is interrogative and we are asked to change it into declarative sentence we get the declarative sentence as the tea is hot the tea is hot this becomes this very sentence the tea is hot is declarative sentence because 
it declares the fact that the tea is hot it asserts the fact that the tea is hot it informs the fact that tea is hot that is why this is assertive sentence declarative sentence when we transform interrogative sentence into declarative sentence what changes take place the first change is what the change in meaning the first question interrogative question interrogative sentence is asking a question is the tea hot and second sentence is revealing the fact declaring the fact that tea is hot the declarative sentence begins with article the and ends with the word hot and in between the tea and hot adjective there is helping verb is so this is declarative sentence the tea is hot let us see let us discuss second example the bride looks beautiful in the attire the bride looks beautiful in the attire this is a sentence this is a declarative sentence and we are asked to change it into exclamatory sentence beginning with how the bride looks beautiful in the attire how beautiful the bride looks in this attire how beautiful the bride looks in this attire so this is what an exclamatory sentence the bride looks beautiful in this attire and exla assertive sentence we are making it exclamatory sentence beginning with how and ending with the exclamatory mark how beautiful the bride looks in this attire what changes taking place the sentence exclamatory sentence is beginning beginning with how and ending with exclamatory mark how beautiful is shows the intensity and makes the sentence exclamatory let us see third example now hamid cycles to college every day hamid cycles to college every day this is declarative sentence assertive sentence and we are asked to make it interrogative sentence we get interrogative sentence as who does cycle to college every day who does cycle to college every day and if we answer this question we get answer hamid cycles to college every day so this is assertive sentence that is the answer of interrogative sentence who does cycle who does cycle to college every day we have transform assertive into interrogative or interrogative into assertive most of the time uh, the answer of the interrogative question is at assertive sentence as we find it here hamid cycles to college every day this is answer of this interrogative question who does cycle to college every day or if we transform this interrogative sentence into assertive sentence we get it as hamid cycles to college every day so this is what the transformations we have done from assertive to interrogative from assertive to exclamatory let us see uh, fourth example could you water the plants please could you water the plants please this is interrogative statement beginning with could ending with interrogative mark and we are asked to make it imperative imperative sentence and we know the function of imperative sentence is making order making request giving command so let us make it imperative we get imperative sentence as water the plants please this is a request also water the plant please the very word please it shows it is a request the given sentence uh, interrogative sentence is making request this is request making interrogative sentence this is request making interrogative sentence could you water the plants please and we have to make it imperative and we get the imperative sentence as water the plant please this is imperative sentence making a request let us see now 
fifth example the bus left for pune this is declarative sentence we have to make it negative now we have to make it negative see friends we can make sentences negative by inserting the word not the negative word not the bus left for pune the statement is declarative but it is positive sentence we have to make it negative the bus did not leave for pune the bus did not leave for pune this is both the sentences are declarative sentences assertive sentences but where is the difference the difference is between the positivity and negativity of the sentence the first sentence the bus left for pune is positive declarative sentence and the second sentence is a negative declarative sentence the bus did not leave for pune the bus did not leave for pune let us see next example farida found the house farida found the house change into a yes no question change into a yes no question farida found the house and we are asked to make it yes no question let's make yes no question did farida find the house if we make it we get the sentence as did farida find the house and if we answer this interrogative sentence we get the answer as the assertive sentence already given here farida found the sentence did farida find the sentence yes farida found the sentence uh, sorry farida found the house yes no type of question this is we have to reply it answer it in either yes or no so did farida find the house yes farida found the house yes no type of question dear friends i hope uh, you all have understood uh, the very topic we have discussed now types of sentences types of sentences transformation of sentences in this discussion we have learned types of sentences declarative interrogative exclamatory and imperative sentences we have also seen the transformation mutual transformation of these sentences we have tried to make assertive sentence we have tried to transform assertive sentence into interrogative sentence interrogative sentence into assertive sentence i think you have understood this and there is on the our course book called literary pinnacles on page number 114 and 115 there are ample examples given for exercise if you do if you solve uh, the examples given on page number 114 and 15 you'll get a better practice and you will be able to transform all these sentences i hope you all have understood the topic in a better way and again i hope you will practice uh, the examples from uh, these pages uh, thank you very much dear students for uh listening me patiently i really thank you all students and i appeal all the students uh to stay at home because at home you are safe so ultimately i will tell you stay at home and take care of all your family members and dear near and dear ones thank you very much all